Hi, Joe Ciccarelli here. We're in Hollywood today at my private studio on the Sunset Sound lot. And today I'm going to be showing you the new Heritage Audio Lang PEQ Equalizer. To the best of my knowledge, the Lang EQ has been around maybe since the 60s or 70s. I think it was made to be a version of the Pultec EQ, same type of inductor circuitry, which to my ears means it's fat and rich, warm, and you know, really fills out a sound, just like a Pultec. Differences, there's select frequencies here, and the same type of boost and cut for the low end, boost and cut for the top end simultaneously, which gives you a lot of different curves. I used to love the original Lang EQs for bass, kick drum, synth bass. Uh, they also did a beautiful thing on vocals. They have a 20K frequency here that is really great to add air to vocals or background vocals. It almost sounds like you're really not equalizing the vocal because it's so high. It just gives the vocal a lot of air and beautiful top end sheen. It's really a unique equalizer. The Heritage Audio guys were great. They sent me an early unit to check out when I was working at La Fabrique Studios in France. A stunning studio I love working at in the south of France. Beautiful acoustic spaces, great old Neve desk, really unique studio. But I was blown away when I got this unit there. There are Pultecs there, TubeTech EQs, API EQs. This fit right in. It was just perfect for some of the instruments we were tracking. Acoustic guitars, synth bass, vocals. Really, really special and really captures the flavor of the original equalizer. First thing I tried it on when I got the unit in France, synth bass. Uh, for me, Pultecs, Lang EQs, any of those classic EQs are amazing for bass instruments. Kick drums, electric bass, synth bass, upright bass, just the perfect choice. So I tried this on a synth bass and yep, it had the juice, it had the mojo. It really has that Lang flavor. After synth bass, I had to try it on a vocal. Wow, it was perfect. It had that air on the tip top added weight and size and chest on the low end. Sometimes adding 160, 200 is a frequency that you don't like to add on vocals, but in this case, this EQ was so smooth, it really filled out the vocal nicely. And then I could easily add in any kind of presence frequencies I needed or tip top on the vocal. Just, just perfect. Acoustic guitar, same thing. Super smooth on the top end, lot of air, lot of openness, and easy to clean up the low end if you had to. I'm loving using this Lang EQ. It really sits in the arsenal great with Pultex and APIs and sound techniques and Mercury EQs. It's, it's got its own flavor. It's a great compliment. It's part of my studio now. My favorite use of this Lang EQ Bass, synth bass, it just works like a charm, adds so much size, power, punch, it's pretty great. These Lang EQs are so smooth on the top end, they really work great for things that you want, air and openness, without getting too edgy or too mid-rangey, they're just really sweet sounding circuits. There's just really great tone on the top end. Let's see what it sounds like on acoustic guitar. So maybe let's roll off a little bit of that low end stuff. Just clean up the bottom a little bit and add some air to the top. Pretty good. Maybe we can go for something pointed a little bit in the middle.
That's kind of my favorite use of this EQ, is just opening up the top end. I love this equalizer on synth bass. It's one of my favorite uses of it. Electric bass, upright bass, anything low end oriented, kick drum sounds amazing. But let's check it out on synth bass. Just adds so much weight. Yeah. And the thing I love too, is you can just clean up the low, low end, tighten it up a little bit, by scooping out some of the frequencies underneath what you're boosting. Get a little punch here. And maybe a crack of mids. Pretty powerful. That sounds pretty healthy to me. And maybe we can even clean up some of that extra buzz on the tip top if we needed to. Get it a little pokier in the mids without the extra air on top. punchy to me. Thanks for tuning in today. Hope you like the new Heritage Audio Lang EQ.